Hey guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, we will be giving away three free three question readings every week, the month of December. So if you're interested, leave me a comment down below. And if I comment that you're the winner, then then I'll then you'll be notified. So um guys with that, cancer. Cancer, you are resting and recovering. You've had a victory recovering from a broken heart from a King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles is still watching you. This person is still trying to gain their strength so that they can come back and apologize. But you've already healed from this. So the ball's in your court. And I feel like you're going to do what you love at this point, And you're taking the lead. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Cancer, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs, then we'll get into the spread, and then I'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Cancer. The energy for Cancer. So, look, you may be resting, recovering, uh, but you're resting and recovering for your happiness. So, like, you're going to recover and be happy. So whatever this is, you're, you're clearing your energy so you can be shining, shining. I'm feeling like the light's shining on you. So let's get to all 12 signs, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Someone's very trapped in their head, sleepless nights, trying to be patient. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you have a Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You're dealing with the Taurus. This is uh, something long-term and committed with a soulmate. You're dealing with the Gemini. Someone wants, they're at a crossroads about telling you a, a harsh truth. If you're dealing with another Cancer, I feel like you moving forward is going to transform something. If you're dealing with a Leo, you have a relationship that has equal give and take. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone wants to heal with the Empress. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody has wanted to reconcile for a long time. Been coming at you very slowly, but they want to reconcile if you're dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I'm going to get a third card on Scorpio because it came out with two queens. You have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and somebody trying to win at all costs playing mind games. So you may have two people that are trying to win playing mind games here. So Cancer, watch your back if you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with... If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone's manifesting being stuck in their head. So this, you got magic, and somebody could be someone could be trying to bind you with magic. So feeling stuck and bound with magic, um, or this could be someone's manifesting that they can't get you out of their head. But the latter of the two is probably more correct. Someone may be trying to bind you with magic. If you're dealing with a, a Capricorn, someone may be guarded and defensive about this Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you have the 1111. They have two fours. Someone feels like there was a missed opportunity for a relationship here. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, they may be reconciling with a queen of wands in Aries, Leo, or a Sag. So let's get into your energy and see what's coming up for you, Cancer. Cancer, it looks like you're resting and you're recovering. It has to do with the sun, the happiness, success, illumination, something, you know, the light shining on you. I feel like you're getting your light back once you heal. So healing, this is important, Cancer, releasing what doesn't serve you so that you can shine. So whatever blockages are here that you need to release, recovering so that you can shine here. 
Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. This this is the week of Thanksgiving for you for every, for all of us, I guess. Especially in the US. So let's get into this for Cancer. Cancer, I feel like a victory is yours once you recover. Look at this. Your energy when a victory when you recover. That's what that happiness was. Um, you have that King of Pentacles here. This King of Pentacles has been showing up for months and months. Um, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Could be someone very solid, stable, dependable. Doesn't matter. It, it, you know, it could be any of those. Let me pull this a little bit closer this way so you can see this better. Okay, so um, could be a boss because it's under the bottom. Uh, under its uh, working, working on their strength. So. You have a victory once you heal here, letting go. I feel like releasing something, recovering. Someone could be at a distance from you too with that four of swords. You have a king of pentacles watching you, spying, gathering information, working on their strength. There you are, queen of cups, your wish fulfillment. This is about your wish fulfillment, Cancer, for a long time. Needing to make a decision here. I feel like someone's needing to make a decision. Divine timing is at play. And it's causing a tower moment. So, Cancer, I feel like with this, before I even get into the clarification on this, that this, this person's been watching you for a long time, wanting to approach you right? They're working on their strength, but your wish fulfillment for a long time is to make a decision. You're making a decision and, and it might not involve this person. I feel like the ball's in your courts, what I feel like, to be honest with you. There's betrayal or there was betrayal by someone who acted like a player. I feel like something was illuminated with that sun. I don't feel like that that was happiness and success. Betrayal by somebody who was acting like a player was illuminated here. Um, so with that four of pentacles holding on or holding back. Manifesting the truth. You're manifesting the truth to come out. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the ace of pentacles, best ace you can get, right? This is about new beginning of love and abundance. So let's get some clarification for you. You know, regardless of what other people think or feel, you know, being by yourself, knowing yourself, knowing your worth, that's what's important here. Because once you get to that point, you're going to be in control of whatever the situation is with, with whoever it's with right? You knowing your true value and you know what you're willing to, what's deal breakers and what's not. That's what's important in a situation. So when we, when we know our value, we're in control. So the victory here, why is there a victory here? Victory over a broken heart because you've healed. You've healed from the broken heart. You can't make that up. Okay, you just cannot make that up. You've healed from the broken heart from this King of Pentacles. This person betrayed you, acted like a player, and you saw through it. You saw through it. Now, the victory of a broken heart resting and recovering from this King of Pentacles. Again, King of Pentacles coming out again. You're single and abundant. And they want you. So, you know, they had an opportunity, it seems like, because this isn't the first time, this isn't their first rodeo in this in this wheelhouse here, okay? This has been coming up nonstop, and this person's still working on their strength. They're not making a move. They're like they're stuck with their feet in glue, but this is what they're thinking about. Pre-empress and a new beginning in love with them. 
That's what they're thinking. I feel like for you, Cancer, your your ball's in your court. You're going to decide what you're going to do. Uh, they're watching. They're watching you because of the burden. They know they caused a burden. That's why they're they've got their eye on you, and they're they're working on their strength to have something long term and committed, but their strength because of deception. Okay, so I'm going to get another. They're working on something long term and committed. The strength of deception, not speaking. They're working on their strength because they haven't spoken to you because of the deception. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that this is, they need the strength because of the deception and not speaking. They haven't said a word to you, right? They're working on, I feel like they're working on their money. I don't know that this is commitment here at this point. I feel like this person with the work and the 10 of pentacles, this person's just building their nest egg. That's what they're doing. They're just building a nest egg. They're not speaking to you. You probably haven't heard from this person in a long time. With this Knight of Pentacles on the board, I'm going to say a year or two. This is you haven't heard from a word from this person. But this person keeps showing up in your reading every week, just about. Cancer, you're manifesting your wish fulfillment. But you're discontent of looking back at the past. I feel like you're manifesting your happiness, your wish fulfillment, but you don't want to look at the past. You don't want to you don't want to go back. You're discontent with looking at the past mistakes people have made. You don't want to you don't want to relive, you don't want to relive that shit again. You've been going through that a long time. A long time you've waited. <laughs> you can't make that up. A long time you have waited here. Okay, and a decision to communicate. Someone's going to make a decision finally to communicate after you've waited so long to hear why this person would do something like that. But here's the thing, guys. Sometimes you're not going to get closure from somebody. Sometimes you have to get the closure yourself by accepting and moving on. And, and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because that shows me you've healed from the heartbreak. You're good, right? The universe is, is wanting something fair and balanced for you, right? In divine timing. Something fair and balanced. Causing a tower moment for this player. This player is not going to get what they want. For them to apologize, a tower moment of the player apologizing, you know, maybe a little too late. Because they betrayed you by, as, by being a player and it was illuminated. Passionate communication, you might have said something. You might have. You might have told them off. Now they're kind of guarded and defensive because you may have said something about. Um, you may have you may have tore them a new one. Now they're guarded and defensive about reconciling with the Empress, right? But you know the funny thing was Virgo's energy was that they wanted to be with the Empress. They wanted to I think it was apologize to the Empress, um, an offer to the Empress, or um, a relationship with the Empress, something like that. Okay, it had to do with they wanted to be with the Empress, I think. Four of Pentacles, holding on or holding back, manifesting the truth. You may have held on for a long time wanting the truth. I feel like that that's what you want. But there's a new passionate beginning. Emperor energy is your wish fulfillment. Somebody's regretting the options and needs to speak the truth. So if this is your emperor, they may have about blocking you. I feel like they blocked you for a long time because of a third party. Now they want to give you justice in a situation to rest and recover in divine timing, the 1111. So, well, I mean, it just keeps going. I could go through the whole deck. Okay, so um, I don't know, um, Cancer. The decision is yours. Um, I I feel like the universe wants to give you something fair and balanced, very fair and balanced. You've waited for a long time, and now this person's coming in as a as a as a player wanting to apologize to you for what they've done. Dreams, you might see this person in your dreams. I feel like <laughs> I feel like for you cancer um, 
your dreams involve friendships, family, friends, whatever, but peace, peace in your life. That's what you dream of. You dream of family and friends and peace. I don't feel like you're wanting any big parade or anything like that, that you're just wanting, you're just wanting everybody to be happy and healthy and content, right? Prosperity, well-being, but you know it, you know it, you know, you're protected, right? And you're healing. You're going to have justice and good luck. <laughs> the cards are speaking to you tonight. The cards are speaking to you tonight. What else does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know? Cancer, you got to make a decision. You know, I feel like I feel like that King of Pentacles feats in molasses. But if this person comes back, would you even want them? I think I feel like you've you've healed from it. So it says choose your friends wisely. Do what you love. Do what you want and do what you love, okay? And take the lead. This is about what you want. This isn't about what somebody else wants. You know, they've had to live with their guilt and why it's taken this person so long to come back and even try to um, to make things right with you. It doesn't matter at this point if you're healed. You're going to decide what you want to do because you're going to do what you love and you're going to take the lead and you're going to choose your friends wisely because you've been down that road already and you've healed from it. You have great energy. Somebody has been watching you. There may have been blockages here since the summertime or they maybe have started watching you in the summer, but there's a barrier for them to watch you um, because there was deception. Feel like this person does admire you, but they they know that they know they destroyed it. They destroyed what what could have been because they were a false person. They you know had a mask on, and this person may have gone through the dark night of the soul, and now they understand something. Communication in the winter. So you may hear from this person next month, from December through maybe January, February. Um, the next three months, you may hear, you may get communication from this person. So Cancer, I'm going to take this over to the extended in Vimeo and get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.